everybody. This is Renee, and we are really glad you're here today at Miss Lillian's Paint University. Today, we're going to be talking about Miss Lillian's Metal Smith water-based reactive paints, and the paints have real metal particles in them. So throughout the video, I will continue to stress how important it is that you stir your paint to keep all of those metal particles dispersed throughout the paint. And when used in conjunction with her activator sprays, a, patina, a natural patina will form and it will stay on any surface that it is applied to. She has eight different colors. So let's see, there are alabaster, there are bronze, copper, uh, iron, uh, lapis, malachite, and mesa sky. And I just use uh, a chip brush to apply these, uh, which you have a primer as well that you will apply first. And I'll walk you through those steps here in just a moment. But um, I will usually wear gloves whenever I do this process. And I, like I said, I will just use a chip brush. And immediately whenever I'm through, I will go and I will wash those with warm soapy water and I'll let them dry. And then whenever they're dry, I will set them aside and put them in Ziploc bags and put them with my Metal Smith kits so that I'm not mixing them up uh, with the brushes that I use, uh, just Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. Today, I'm going to be using two different primers. I'm going to be using the gray and the cinnamon. And then we're going to be doing the mercury, the lapis, and the bronze. So let me get set up and uh, we'll get the process started and show you just how easy it is. Okay, I'm going to apply the uh, cinnamon primer to one and then the gray to the other two. And <clears throat> all you do is just brush it on a good even coat. And I'm applying this to just some clay pots because I think they really look cool with the uh, having the patina on them. And today we are going to be doing the bronze, the lapis, and the mercury patina. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply your first coat and you're just going to let that dry before you apply your second coat. So I'll go ahead and get these primed and then we'll be back. Okay, we're going to apply our first coat of uh, Metal Smith Reactive Paints. And also, anytime I'm using any of Miss Lillian's uh, products, I will always pour what I'm going to be using into paper plates because I don't ever want to contaminate what is in the container. So uh, I don't know if I mentioned that while ago whenever I was doing the primer, but as you can see, I've got this one finished with the uh, cinnamon, and then these two are done with the gray. And I also went ahead and done the bottoms uh, with the primer as well. I won't be doing the patina finish on the bottom, and then the cinnamon, I did go ahead and uh, put it on the bottom of this one because I didn't want the orange showing through. I wanted it to be a nice finish on the underside. So all you want to do is just apply your first coat of metal reactive paint. And you want to make sure that it's thoroughly dried before you apply your second coat. And if you ever get a chip brush hair like that, just take your chip brush and uh, flick it and it will come right off. Okay. And then this is the bronze. This one is the uh, mercury. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get the first coat applied to these, let them dry, and then we will be back for the second coat because that's whenever you add your activator spray. So we'll be right back. Okay, our first coat is dry and so we're ready to apply the second coat and we want to use our activator while the second coat is still wet. And I wanted to correct um, on the kits or on the colors that she has, I said just alabaster, but it is alabaster jade. 
So that's what we're doing on this one here first. And again, I just use the chip brush. And in my pan, I will usually use a press and seal. That way, whenever I get through, I can just, it'll catch all the drips and the runs, and then I can just uh, pull it up and throw it away. Just apply a very nice coat. And it's amazing to watch the transformation of the patentization uh, as it dries. Okay. And then you just want to take your spray, and we are using the green patina on the alabaster jade. Just spray a good amount. And don't get in a hurry because you really won't start seeing anything until this starts drying. Okay. So I'm just going to set that one over here, and you can have it on a flat surface. Uh, it doesn't matter, or you can uh, have it on something like this and have it set up like this and then have the runs. And that's what I want on this to where it won't be a complete uh, a flat application. So I'm just going to set that over here. I should probably set that in a paper plate and let that dry. And I'm also going to be using the green patina activator on the bronze. And the cool thing about this is you, the imagination is just, um, just let it go and have fun and play with it and come up with your own creations. Mix, match, uh, put them together as far as your activators. Okay, and I'm going to be using the green activator, the green patina, again. Okay, I'm going to let that one sit over here. I wish that we could watch the complete patinization, but it would take too long. But whenever I get through here, I have a couple of sticks uh, that I will show you that I did earlier. And uh, on this one, on the lapis, I'm going to be using the turquoise. Activator. this one aside and I'll show you and then once these start oh and this one you can already uh, start seeing the patinization you can see it turning green that is just really cool and the more it dries the more we're going to see the bronze you can't really tell yet on it but I've done two here I've done the alabaster and then I done the lapis and the lapis I used the turquoise and uh, on the um, alabaster I used uh, the green patina activator all right y'all we are going to let this dry and whenever they're dry we will come back and see what we have also I was going to mention that in the kits uh, the alabaster jade the patina activator that you get is the turquoise and then the bronze you get the turquoise activator and then the copper uh, it comes with the green activator the uh, iron comes with the rust activator the lapis the green uh, patina um, applicator and then uh, the malachite comes with the uh, turquoise activation and the mercury comes with the green patina activator and the Mesa Sky comes with the turquoise activator. So we're going to let these dry, and um, we'll be back. 
Okay, everything is almost dry, so you're going to get to see the reveal. This is the lapis. Very beautiful variations. And just keep in mind as well that no matter how many times you do these applications, they will all be different. And this is the bronze with the uh, green patina. The lapis, we use the turquoise. And I had said that we were going to use mercury, but we use the alabaster jade. And the reason that happened is because I had said it was just alabaster whenever it's really alabaster jade. So that is actually uh, the color that is on this pot here, and it's done with the green patina. Isn't that pretty? And also, I wanted to mention about Miss Lillian's uh, enhancement powders as well. She has three. They are iron, bronze, and copper, and that will probably be in another how-to. But uh, we are really glad you were here today, and I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, for further assistance on all instructions on how to apply any of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint products, you can go to her website, which is MissLillianspaint.net, and go to her facts section. And y'all have a very blessed day, and we'll see y'all later.